and welcome to the DLC. Where you'll get a deep dive on the Snyder Cut. Yes, on Justice League. Um, so what are some other things that you liked about this Justice League? Or I guess some other things that you liked as compared to the other one. Like, for example, I do think even though he looked goofy, Steppenwolf did, was better in this one than he was in the other one. Right. Yeah, um, I can see that. Yeah. Like, he was very, like, consumed. Like, in, in, in the original, he was very consumed with the mother box. And he was like, oh, mother, I'm coming, mother. Where's mother? Very Oedipus. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this one, he's like, okay, he needs the boxes because he has a plan. They, Unify. They were, they were more of just, like, a tool yeah. than they were, like, he had a relationship with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I did, I still like that scene quite a bit where you've got Superman standing in front of all of them, right? I thought that was really well pieced together. Uh, that whole look that he gives Barry. (laughs) Yes. I like that scene too. Um, when Barry, (laughs) Barry's running after him and he looks over at him and Barry's like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, he can see me. Mm-hmm. And then that really cool fight that they had, I don't think was in the original one. Was it? Mm. Him and Flash? No, I don't believe so. I no, no, was. no. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, oh, there was a really cool scene. Speaking of Flash. Um, remember when he when they were getting everybody um, out of that subway or the underground tunnel thing. Yeah, yeah, also, the yeah, all, yeah, yeah, all the yeah. scientists and everything. And all this rubble starts coming down. Mm-hmm. And then Flash uh, basically grabs all the rubble out of the air. Yes. And you see it from their version where you just see quick glimpses right. of like his silhouette in the small. I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that was kind of a cool uh, little shot. I I felt like... Him and Cyborg were a little misused in that scene where they're getting people out. Because mm. Cyborg should have been helping somebody else that was like way more injured. But he just like piggyback somebody. Well, Cyborg could have carried like 10 people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he just grabbed like one person. Like, okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then like Barry's just running back up and down, like trying to act like he's doing something. He, yeah, he's he, like, okay, let's go. Let's go. You guys uh, ready? Are you, are you okay? Okay, let's go. He was trying to do... A Spider-Man from Civil War hmm. is what it kind of felt like, right? Where he's like, "Oh man, like you're from here too." Oh, you know what I mean? Right, like right, trying right. to be this like chummy, get all like close and personal with him. Right? He's like he's the kid of the group that's just happy to be there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I, like I said, I don't like Ezra Miller as the Flash then, and I don't like him now. Mm-mm. I think he's really annoying. Yeah. Um. Like I said, I, I was going to say in, in in the other episode, at the very end, when he's going around really quick to charge up, right? Right. To push Cyborg in the thing. And he gets shot by the big alien gun. And he has him, I think it was Batman or... Are you okay? He's are like, you okay? I just need to catch my breath. Yeah, and then you catch my breath. His voice reaches this pitch that's like it, it was ear splitting. It's like, wh- yeah, why did I mean? He got so his voice got so high, like I thought it was like some comedic thing he was doing. <laughs> <sighs> it's like that that character is not Barry Allen. Like it's just not. Mm-hmm. And I know this is a very comic book geeky thing, but I cannot stand the blue lightning. Really? Mm, I can't stand it. It's always been yellow with right. the Flash. His lightning has always been yellow. But Snyder got to make it blue. <laughs> um, that was another scene when he actually pushed Cyborg into there. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it was really necessary for him to see his whole family. They went all like Harry Potter style. Well, yeah. I mean, I understand what they were doing. It's like they were trying to tempt him. Right. Mm, yeah. But and the and the flash running and the flash essentially saved the planet. Yeah. Cause Dark Side originally won. Like 
he showed up and he basically annihilated Earth. And so Flash had to pretty much run back in time in order to bring, yeah, yeah, things back to. Back I to did. Before. I couldn't, again, I couldn't stand when he was running, how he was saying, like he was talking to his dad at the same time. It's like, yeah. Dad, I just want you to know that your son was one of the best of the best. Yeah. He was one of the best ones. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Was that really reminiscent of Flashpoint? I don't think... I didn't get any Flashpoint from it, no. Really? Mm -mm. With the time travel, flipping stuff around? Hmm. Yeah. I didn't really... I I didn't get any Flashpoint vibes from it. Is there a way that we could take this movie and polish it again and put it into something decent? Or what would you do with this movie to actually make it a cohesive movie? There is... There's a decent movie in there somewhere. Right. I think if you cut it down to like maybe three, three and a half hours, maybe even three hours, like get rid of a lot of that slow-mo, focus on the story, um, cut well, out a lot of the... Focus on Cyborg. Yeah. F- get rid of a lot of the nonsense stuff that you don't really need, a lot of the mopey Lois. Mm-hmm. I don't need that. How do you how do you bring introduce Superman back into it and have him go from being dead to alive and make it I think the way they did it was fine. Uh I think it fit in with the story. Like I've never I wasn't crazy about having the mother box hit the thing and then Flash had to ignite the thing the the box with his electricity and then that charged up the ship and and somehow that brought him back to life. That's it's very Stupid. complicated, yeah. Would you have rather had him just go to like a Lazarus pit kind of a deal or go back to the sun? I'm trying to think of a way you could do that. Or Batman's just like, hey, uh, sun really helps him out. Let's get him some more of it. <laughs> well, because in the comics, okay, you could do what they did in the comics. When Superman quote unquote died, um, it turns out he didn't actually die. He was like in this basically a kryptonian coma essentially yeah which eventually preserving woke... his energy yeah which eventually he woke up from even more powerful mm-hmm. great do that right there you go there you go not even have to have like you could cut that whole scene out where they're actually bringing him back to life just yeah. let him wake up on his own yeah and the first thing that like he wakes up like kind of goes into a shock a little bit he's just like hey uh what just happened kind of a deal and finds Lois, rushes to Lois. Well, he realizes he's in the coffin. Mm-hmm. So you see his eyes glow red. And you see this beam shoot out from the ground. You know? Yeah. Maybe see him fly off. Like, that's all you'd have to show. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah, but that whole contrived thing of putting him in the in the goo. And then igniting the goo so the goo would resurrect him. Mm. And then having him be all crazy. And not remember anything when he came back. So now that we've, like, fixed up Superman, uh, Aquaman. I honestly don't mind Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Yeah. I don't. No. Um, I liked his movie, his solo movie. I thought he was fine in this one. I just, I kind of dig him. I I don't have any issues with him. I would have liked, like, that whole scene where Batman's going there and, like, I need to talk to him. Yeah, like, that's cool that he's, like, throwing money around, but I would have much rather have seen Superman go there, uh, Jason Momoa not translate for him, um, and then he has to, Batman has to go around a little bit and find people, um, that have heard about him and, I don't know, something to get Aquaman to come visit him. Well, okay, so Batman's a detective, world's greatest detective. Yeah. So I think it would have been cool. Maybe he, he you, you see Batman looking for him, like you said, asking around. Um, then you see Aquaman show up at this village, right? He comes out of the water. Who's sitting there waiting for him? But Bruce Wayne. Right. Well, they already did that with Barry, though. You know what I mean? Where he's so sitting in this chair. So do it again. Really? Yeah. Um, I almost feel like because Batman's always got this like this plan in place, right? Um, I almost feel like he was relying a little bit too heavily on his money, like Wonder Woman used the the lasso as a crutch. 
Um, but I would like to see him do a little bit more like detective work or something. Yeah, if he would have talked to Aquaman more about, you know, Atlantis, um, maybe talk to him about, he like he discovered his origin, like where he came from, kind of connect to him on that level. Right. Um, He's like, dude, I understand. I get it why you like, you know, why you felt you had to leave and mm-hmm. do your own thing. I like, like you think you're the only one that has issues with your parents. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of tied it in there. Yeah. Um, I did like, however, that when he's battling Steppenwolf, that he actually fared a much better chance in the water than he did against him on land. Mm-hmm. There was a there was a good contrast between that, right? He's able to like maneuver through water a hell of a lot quicker and better. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He still got his ass handed to him. Because, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you have liked to have seen him enlist the help of some, like, sea creatures? I feel like that their box wasn't all that well guarded. <sighs> they have one, like, one person. Yeah, the box there. in Atlantis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, w- it would have been cool to <laughs> if, like, when Steppenwolf showed up, uh, like, he went to, like, like, he could see the box, and all of a sudden there's, like, this giant squid and, like, whales and, like, great white sharks and stuff and Mm -hmm. like behind them or in front of them was aquaman and yeah 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 i think that that would have been pretty cool um i don't think you need to have the whole him commanding sea creature thing Mm. yeah i mean i think they did that a lot in like the cartoons and they've done a lot in the comic books and true it's a little it's a little goofy yeah let's be honest it's a little goofy but you can have a little bit, like kind of a have that one kind of like cool scene. But okay, yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman, she was perfectly fine in it. Yeah, I didn't have an issue with her. I think the only issue I have with Wonder Woman, with Gal Gadot playing her, is she she has like two faces that she makes. Mm-hmm. Like she has her happy face and she has her determined face. <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah. Those are the only faces she makes. Like, uh, it's like if you got an action figure of her, those would be the two faces that mm-hmm. she had that you can like put on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think she did the gauntlet move way too much. Um, she's got some other abilities. Yeah, she does. So let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's super strong. She can fly. She has super speed. You know, she's a basically a female Superman. Yeah. So let's. Find some bad stuff, but fine against Steppenwolf. But no, that's, that's would fine. you have liked to see more of a love interest between Batman and Wonder Woman? No, no, I don't think you needed it. Um, there was some chemistry there. There's a little, yeah, you could tell, especially when she's talking about the plane. Right, he's working on the plane. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I knew a person that would have liked to have flown flown this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can tell there's there's a little something there, but I I wouldn't want to see a, a romance between the two. No, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. She'd crush him. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, that's, uh, that's Joker. Uh, yeah, uh, Deathstroke. Mm, no, nope. Lex Luthor. Didn't need any of that. Didn't need any <laughs> of that. Oh. All of those end credit scenes, we didn't need any of that stuff. No. It wasn't necessary. Martian Manhunter was not necessary to have in it. I think he was part of the original plan, but then he was scrapped and then but Snyder brought him back for this one. It just he wasn't necessary. No. He just wasn't. And it almost felt like a step back. You've got Dark Side and then all of a sudden now Batman's gonna be fighting like, you know, these chumps. <laughs> <laughs> and even Lex Luthor didn't seem that menacing and I hate Jesse Eisenberg as him me too he did a horrible job he still reminded me of more of a um, Riddler yeah and I think Joe Man- Manganello or Manganello as Deathstroke I, I don't see that either I think he looks weird um, he looks a little too cartoony for this universe yeah like Deathstroke is an older guy Deathstroke is like in his fifties. Yeah. You know, like he's, he's, he's the season vet, you know, and Manganello just looks, he looks really young and it looks weird with the white hair. Like it just doesn't fit. No. Yeah. 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 
Um, just threw salt and pepper it up a little bit. <laughs> well, and it's, yeah, if he's going to have him, let's like have like a Bruce Wayne thing going on where you're a little gray on the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's fine. Uh, I did like, I will say, that they took out the whole Russia thing at the end. Like, they didn't have the Russian family there. Right. They didn't have Superman saving the whole, like, apartment complex. I thought that was goofy. That was, it really was. Yeah. They didn't have the stupid race between the two at the end. I'm glad they took all that stuff out. Same. Didn't need it. Mm-hmm. Although, who would win? Flash. Really? Yeah. He's the world's fastest man? Yeah. Flash always wins against Superman. Okay. Every time they've raced, Flash has won. Because Superman is fast, yes, but Flash is just just, hmm, just a little bit faster. That much faster. Yeah. And you did get a glimpse of that when he's, like, reversing time. Yeah. Or, like, when they were fighting. Like, Flash could still dodge him, but just barely. Right, right, right. Yeah. Toe-to-toe, the Flash wouldn't stand a chance because, no. like... Superman's way stronger. Yeah. Like even, if, even if, though he's slower, if they actually like throw a punch and yeah. yeah. No, if Superman caught him, yeah. Flash is a dead man. Yeah. Um I like that they gave Jeremy Irons as Alfred more stuff to do. Right. I think he's a good Alfred. Yeah. I think that's good casting. Um because he felt he did feel like a soldier a little bit, he right? Did. Yeah, he felt like he he you you felt like that he had seen some shit mm -hmm. back and that he day. kind of belonged to yeah. his whole crew. He didn't seem out of place. I I personally would have liked to have seen a Ben Affleck Batman movie. Yeah, I think it I think it had a lot of potential. Uh, is this going to become canon? No, no, I no. doubt it. No. They're going to try to move on from this. Yeah, because DC. First of all, um, Warner Brothers has no idea what they're doing with these characters. The Flash movie has been trying to get made for like the last six years now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's and that was the other thing watching this is like it doesn't matter because none of this stuff is going to make any difference going forward. Right? No, you didn't change anything. Like I'm, I think Ben Affleck is done as Batman. I think Henry Cavill is done as Superman. Maybe I don't know. He keeps going back and forth on it. Right. I think you you still have Gal Gadot. You still have Jason Momoa. You still have, unfortunately, Ezra Miller. Um. Yeah. I, I, where where do they go from that? Just stand alone. I guess. Okay. But how can you make a Justice League without Batman and Superman? Yeah, that's true. There is no Justice League without those two. <laughs> You're going to have Shazam, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg? Mm, I don't think so. That's not Justice League. Not that's, in my that's, DC Justice League. That's Justice. That's the Super Friends. That's not Justice League. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they're going to go from this. Like, with these... This... Like Marvel had a plan where it's like phased out and they introduced characters that are interesting and we want to know more about mm -hmm. these guys. They haven't introduced anyone that I, I don't know, not that many people I care about. Well, like I said, you know, Warner Brothers has no idea what they're doing with these characters and with this universe. Whereas as Marvel, they got the whole thing planned out. Right. From A to Z. Mm -hmm. Like they have the next like 10, 20 years planned out. Um, and you can't, you can't, you can't stray from it. No. But with DC, it's like, okay, let's give this director, this character. Okay. They did, a, they did this thing with this character. Okay. Now this movie has to tie in somehow with that mm -hmm. and they got to backtrack. Okay. Well now this movie doesn't make sense. So now we got to retcon this one to fit with these. And it just, it doesn't make any sense. I feel like where they go from here is they just do standalone. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. They pick awesome things that we would love to see from the comics be brought to the big screen. Yeah, forget the whole connected universe thing. That obviously didn't work. Just do standalone films. Yeah, you've You're had good. success with like Joker and some of these other ones, yeah. right? Just stick to that. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Hmm... But the ones I'm excited to see going forward, 
Um, you know, the next Shazam movie. Yes. Excited for that one. Next Aquaman movie. Mm -hmm. Um, Black Adam with The Rock. I think that that has potential to be cool. And James Bond. Uh, yep. Pierce Brosnan. (laughs) Hawkman, I guess, is going to be in that one, which is cool. I've always liked Hawkman. Yeah. I think he's a cool character. Uh, yeah, these, these B, C, D level characters, like, those are the ones I'm excited for. Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. I think we've talked long enough about it. There you go. And I think we can, we can close the book on this whole Snyder thing. We won't talk about it anymore. Never again. Because everybody's been talking about it. Every podcast has talked about it. <sighs> it's over. It's out. It's done with. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Well, that's that. So we will uh, we'll see you guys next week, I suppose. Bye.